everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we actually have an update on my video this morning if you guys watched my video earlier today you would have noticed that we thought that luchasaurus was going to be confirmed for aew series number four aew unrivaled collection series number four and we went through the process i even provided backup evidence i was really confident about it i was like you know what brad this just makes the most sense pointing in the direction it just made sense didn't it it just made complete sense and apparently brad we were all wrong all along. We were freaking wrong. Target's website was wrong. Everything's wrong, and we're going to get into it. Actually, Target's website was kind of right in the way, and we'll get into all that, but let's go ahead and dive into it, ladies and gentlemen. So, earlier this morning, I did post something about AEW Series number 4. Well, today, Jeremy has uh, come to light on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, and he has confirmed AEW Series number 4. As you guys can see on the screen, we have Santana, Ortiz, Matt Hardy, Sammy Guevara, Cody Rhodes, and Kenny Omega for Series number 4. So, this is going to be huge for us. Not only this, I think actually the reason that he came out about it and actually confirmed it is because this photo actually got leaked online. Somebody has been, you know, uh, the last couple series now, uh, you know, photos have been leaked from the factory, I guess, for Series 3 and Series 4, and it looks like we have it again here, and a lot of people thought that this was going to be like a fake photo, like even when I saw this photo, I was going to make a video regarding this photo, but then I decided, um, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit, see what I think about it, you know, because the box kind of looks fake to me, simply because, if you guys notice, on the back it says Dynamite, it says 2-12-2019, Cedar Park, Texas, I think that that meant February 12, 2020, because uh, I don't think AEW went on the air until October 2019, and then, uh, you know, there I don't think there was a 212, you know, 2019 where there was a dynamite, obviously, so I thought that was a bit sketchy and everything. I don't know, it just kind of looks shopped for a second, but I guess it is not. It is confirmed, so we are going to be getting Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, Sammy Guevara, Matt Hardy, Santana, and Ortiz, and uh, this is huge. I think this is big. It, it is disappointing, though. I think it's bittersweet for me at least, because Luchasaurus pushed back yet again, man. gum! can we get our Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus? I'm thinking, like, if they're not in Series 4, man, they have, like, right? Like, they have to be in Series 5, right? I mean, I it would just make the most sense, but I thought it would make the most sense for them to be in Series 4, because you guys saw the interview this morning. If you guys missed that video on Luchasaurus this morning, definitely go watch it. It provides, like, a an interview with Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, where they talk about, you know, them being confirmed and, like, his tattoos... You know, his tattoo's not being ready, and, like, he had to be pushed back a series or two. And it looked like he was going to be in Wave 3, but he ended up being, I guess, not even in Wave 4. So I guess we're going to have to wait a series more until that. But there's a few things to take away from this Series 4. So first of all, this is going to be our third Kenny Omega figure. If you go back to Series 1, we have the pink version. And then, of course, you do have the ringside exclusive AEW authentic scale ring version, which is in the green. But the biggest thing about this Kenny Omega, guys, is that it's going to be the updated skin tone you guys know with series one they had the wonky you know pandemic skin tones what i like to call it because apparently the pandemic is what caused them to be so pale and have such pasty you know uh skin tones and then so now we are going to have an updated kenny omega i think it's going to be a fantastic figure i cannot wait to see what it is i'm also excited to find out what the chase variants are in this set we don't know what they are just yet but i haven't even been able to even look at a chase variant so i really don't even know why i'm that excited about it i just i guess i'm ready to see you know what the figures look like images again Again, should be coming very soon and when we get those images I will be putting them up to you guys but Kenny Omega will be getting his third figure can't wait to see what it looks like can't wait to do a skin tone swap onto his AEW series one figure onto that authentic scale figure gonna be freaking great to do that but next up we have Cody Rhodes who will be getting what is this now you have the chase variant you have the UK exclusive you have the series one and you have the the Blood Brothers two pack so this will be our fifth Cody Rhodes figure it's four series in, and we already have five Cody Rhodes. I think that's crazy. I wonder if it will be a repeat of the Blood Brothers head sculpt, or if we'll get a completely brand new sculpt. That'll be something that we need to take, you know, to take into consideration when looking at this Cody Rhodes. You know, I hope it comes with an entrance vest like his Chase variant figure came with, because I thought that was really nice. I've never owned that figure or anything. I just really like the way it looked on the figure, and like using that in the pick pad and stuff would be really cool. So hopefully, this figure will come with an entrance vest like his Chase variant figure did, and then. 
we do have Sammy Guevara in the set. Now, we already know what Sammy Guevara looks like. We know that we're probably going to get a ringside exclusive Sammy Guevara with like a golf cart playset type deal. So I'm thinking that, that we could be getting two Sammy Guevara's very soon in the near future. And uh, that's another thing that we need to take away from. This is the only figure in the set that we know for a fact what it's going to look like, what the attire is going to be. Uh, I don't think we're getting a Chase variant of Sammy Guevara. I feel like they would have already unveiled that because you guys remember when they showed us this, we got Orange Cassidy, we got Pac, and we got Darby Allen, and they revealed that Darby Allen wouldn't be the Chase variant. I feel like they would have done the same for Sammy Guevara if he was the Chase variant, but I guess there's no real news to that. We'll just have to see, wait and see on that one. But next up, we have Matt Hardy, which is a really big one. I think this is huge. I can't wait to see what his figure looks like. I can't wait to compare it to the WWE versions of him. I think that'll be really fun to see and, you know, see what, you know, what attire they go with, what his entrance, you know, attire looks like and everything like that. That should be really, really fun to see. So we get Matt Hardy in the set. I'm figuring they probably pushed him to the front. I feel like with guys that have a little bit more notoriety, they're going to push to the forefront because I feel like Series 4 would have probably already been like pre-planned beforehand before uh, Matt Hardy came over to AEW. I could be wrong about that. It just seems like maybe they pushed him up a little bit in the series, like plugging him in to get in there. You'll also notice in this web, guys, there's no women's figure, which was really surprising to me. I would have expected to get Nyla or Britt Baker in this set, but I'm guessing since their women's division isn't the deepest right now, maybe they wanted to wait a little bit and, you know, not cram a women's figure in there, you know, super often like that, because if they were to do that, they would have ran out of women very quickly, so maybe they're waiting a couple sets or in between sets to add those, but I still think that the set is pretty good. I like the set, and I know a lot of people are going to be upset about them plugging Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes back in, but uh, there's a lot of looks for those guys. Again, I, I said this from the beginning that Cody, Jericho, Young Bucks, Kenny, those guys are going to be made over because they're your Roman Reigns, right? They're your John Cena's. They're your big-time sellers. There's the guys that are the most recognizable, the most marketable. People know who they are, so they're going to fly off shelves. People want those in the collection. So I'm figuring that they are going to be plugged in. They're going to be plugged in very often, so that's what I would guess as far as Kenny and Cody are concerned. I really don't care as long as it's, you know, unique attire, unique head sculpts, things of that nature. I love both those guys. I love Jericho. I love the Young Bucks, so that is, uh, you know, that's, that's how we do. I think that it'll be really easy to just pack those figures in. I'm big fans of those talents. But the last two in the set, guys, we do have a tag team, and this confirms what I've said every single series and what it, re it regurgitates what I said this morning, and that is that they keep tag teams together. That is like a theme that we see. I feel like WWE pretty much does that as well, like Mattel and tag teams. It just makes the most sense, but AEW continuing that trend here because we're going to be getting Santana and Ortiz together, and we're very close to completing our inner circle. we got to get Jack Swagger slash Jake Hagar in here, or Jake Hager, whatever whatever the hell you want to say, Brad, MDT United States Champion, but I think both of these figures should be great. I remember a while back, I think, I'll, I'll plug it in the video if I have it or if I have a thing, I think he tweeted, I think it was Santana or Ortiz, they tweeted about, uh, I, won, I, I remember being a kid and going into the store and finding a wrestling figure or hype for a figure, and then now my daughters can walk into Walmart and find a figure of me, and it was like a scan of his head sculpt or something. I'll try and plug that in, or if I can find that, I'll definitely plug that in for you guys to show off. So that's probably about what the head sculpt will look like maybe when we get this figure. That's just about as much knowledge as I have here, but hopefully picks are coming soon, man. Like, Jesus, can we get the picks? I think it was over a week ago now that he said we were going to get the picks, so maybe, uh, maybe we'll get that, but... As far as attires are concerned, I'm guessing that it will be this attire for Kenny Omega. That just makes the most sense. Me and my brother uh, joked about it a lot because, uh, you know, we were really hyped for Kenny Omega's new attires to be on Dynamite, and he rocked this same gear, like, over and over and over and over and over again, and we were like, damn, when is he going to get a new attire? And he finally did get a new attire, and we haven't been the biggest fans of his attires. Like, I like this one, but he wore it so much, I got sick of it, I wanted to see a new attire, so I, I guarantee it will be this gear and I can't wait to see what the figure looks like again. Do the skin tone swaps, torso swaps, and all that. Maybe we'll get a new, you know, pissed off Kenny Omega head sculpt. Maybe it won't be like smirking. I want it to be a pissed off or like a, you know what I'm saying, Faye? I, I don't necessarily want it to be screaming or like, you know, agonizing and pain looking, like yelling. But I would like to see like a determined face. You know what I'm saying? Like the, you know, the bring it on, Brad. So that's what I would like to see from that especially for the pick fed sake and everything like that. But anyways, guys, I think that pretty much does it for the video. I wanted to get on here and confirm AEW Series 4. I was going to do a video on the image of the back of the box anyways, but I figured since since Jeremy got on here and, you know, hardcore confirmed it, then, uh, yeah, that, that was something we had to absolutely get on here and 
get to uh, get to going for you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of Series 4 down in the comment section below, guys. Do you guys enjoy this set? Who would you like to see? I'm really bummed we're not getting Luchasaurus or Jungle Boy yet. That was really upsetting to me. I thought for sure it would be Series 4, but looks like we're pushing it back a little bit. Maybe we'll get them in Series 5. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I'm also surprised we haven't seen Private Party or SCU just yet. But I guess, uh, you know, plenty of figures to come, plenty of things to come. And I'm, I'm hoping that the images come before the Major Wrestling Figure podcast in like 10 days. So we'll have to see about that. But any images get leaked, anything like that, guys, we will be covering it here on the channel. And we will get it going. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Random shout out. Let's get into it real quick. So this random shout out is going to go to Undisputed Figure Collector 97. He says, yes, I couldn't wait for you to upload because my cat died and I've been down. But you always cheer me up when I'm down. Thank you. So I want to give a huge shout out to Undisputed Figure Collector. I went through the same thing, as you guys know, last year year with Alley Cat, and uh, it's a very tough thing to go through, so huge shout out to Undisputed Figure Collector, man. If uh, if anybody out there, you know, if you're listening to this, I don't know what you believe in, but if you uh, if you send some prayers, send some thoughts over to Undisputed Figure Collector, I'm very sorry to hear about your cat, brother. I hope you feel better, and I uh, hope the day gets better for you, and I'm glad that, you know, my videos can cheer you up in this time of need for you, but that really disappointed me to read that, but just try to stay focused on positive things, and just think about all the beautiful times you had with your cat. Look back at the old photos and things like that. Those are things that help me, but huge shout out to Undisputed Figure Collector, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and this one goes out to Alley Cat. I love you. You crossed the line I've been